All right. So I'm here with uh, Naza Badu and Hana Naza. Is that did I get that right? Yeah. Okay. So, Hana, yes. when you got married, you are still a newlywed, isn't it? Yes. I am. When you got married, uh, did you have any idea you'd be moving to Nigeria and doing missions? Um, really not. I did not have any idea until we got married. <laughs> After we got married, that, that idea came after we got the information from me. Though it was difficult leaving my job, but as we prayed, I was convinced that that's what God wants me to do, and to join my husband to do. So I had to leave my job and then join mission. Wow. What kind of job did you have? I was a teacher, a professional teacher. Okay. Yes, that's what I was doing before. So what do you hope to do uh, in missions? What kind of ministry do you hope to have? Um, actually, um, uh, to reach out to the children and also um, teach in mother tongue. That's what I'm hoping to do. Okay. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you okay. for sharing. And, and now, let me see, back to, back to Mr. <coughs> Naza. What yes. were you doing before you got into mission? Did you have a job? Yes, I did so many things before uh, leaving, coming into mission. I had a business which is more in Greek. I, I ran a mushroom farm and I also had a honey, a honey business where I supplied to hot, uh, hotels, I supplied to uh, Supermarket, um, bookshops, and all that. I was doing that. Aside that, I also um, did some consultancy job with my friends. Yes, and uh, all of them were registered companies, so we were doing quite well. And uh, as you know, I was also doing something, some translation with Gilbert. Okay. Yes, for the Kuma project, which is my mother tongue. Oh wow! So. That's great. That is what I was doing. So I think you you are a you are a natural businessman. Yeah. But you also read marketing in yes. uh, college, right? Yes. Okay. So do you think how will God use that in in missions? Do you think? Yes. Um. I think it's useful, and I believe God is going to use it because reaching to uh, people, God can use different means. Though I may be doing translations, but if there is a need in the community or if there is an opportunity, it can be another avenue to reach out to the people. There are times you go to a community where the people are jobless, but there is something you can just introduce them to. Like if I go to a community now, I can start a bee farm or mushroom farm. In Nigeria here, I've seen that most people do not produce mushrooms. Mm. And people are calling me as how they can produce it. I have some of my trainers okay. on base struggling how to do it. So all these things are opportunities you can use to reach out to the people. So I believe all of them are useful. That was fantastic. Yes, thank you.